Has Johnny Depp jumped the zombie shark? Hello everyone and welcome to Movie Reviews by Josh, your daily source for insights on the latest movies. My name is Josh Terry. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the new Pirates of the Caribbean movie, Dead Men Tell No Tales, which is the fifth in the series. And if you've stuck with the series this long, you'll probably find some things to like, but to be honest, I kind of struggled with this one. Uh, this one has, at its heart, I guess there's a real basic plot. There's a bunch of different characters that are trying to find a trident. It's Poseidon's trident, it's magic, it's gonna free everybody of curses. Uh, most importantly, it's going to free Orlando Bloom from his curse. Uh, and so this movie is basically about his son trying to find the trident so he can set his dad free. Now I say basically because that whole plot point kind of gets lost in a bunch of other things. Uh, Johnny Depp obviously shows up as Jack Sparrow. He gets involved and he needed the Trident to fight off this undead captain, uh, Salazar, played by Javier Bardem. Uh, there's a girl who everybody thinks is a witch, but she's really an astronomer. And she's played by the girl from the Maze Runner movies. And she's involved and she's kind of a love interest for Orlando Bloom's kid, but not really. Um, there's a lot going on in this one. Everybody's after the Trident, but there's just all kinds of different threads. Uh, Jeffrey Rush makes an appearance that doesn't make a lot of sense early on, but does later. There's also a very fab cameo, and I'll just say it and leave it like that. Um, again, if you're a big fan of this series, if you've been, if you've made it this far, I mean, there's some fun special effects. There's some fun jokes, and if you really enjoy the Jack Sparrow character, Johnny Depp is kind of doing his thing. Although when he's drunk, he sounds a lot like Dudley Moore in the Arthur movies back in the 80s, late 70s. Um, yeah, so I kind of, overall, kind of struggled with this one. I'm kind of landing around two and a half. Like, I didn't really think it was a bad movie, uh, but it was very bloated. Um, it seemed to be just kind of crisscrossing all over the place, didn't make a whole lot of sense, and the, the good bits weren't quite enough to make up for what I felt were the shortcomings. Uh, so yeah, if you're a fan, if you're a, a Disney completionist, if you're a huge, huge Johnny Depp guy or gal, outside of that, I don't think this is gonna be one of your stronger options for the summer. So do you think the Pirates of the Caribbean series has gone on for too long? Leave your answers in the comments below. Deadman Tale No Tales is PG-13, has a lot of the same kind of content as the other Pirates of the Caribbean movies. There's lots of uh, you know, action and violence. There's really nothing in terms of uh, swearing. Uh, and the sexual content has to do with tight dresses. Let's just put it that way. So thanks again for watching. This has been Movie Reviews by Josh, your daily source for insights on all the new movies. My name is Josh Terry. Be sure to subscribe on your way out. Keep your notifications on. And thanks as always to our friends at Rocky Gator, makers of fine waterproof backpacks that probably would come in handy if you're a pirate on the sea 300 years ago, 400 years ago. When do these actually take place?